I'm Miss Chris with Bible Basics and today we're going to be working with Hannah's prayer and um, just to try to give you a couple of ideas about how to help you pray. Um, there's stones that you can put in your pocket. My dad gave me one that's very special to me. And then they also have a pocket uh, cross that I've seen people make. And um, now there's all kinds of different labyrinths out there as well. This is a finger labyrinth. Um, if you remember, outside the front of the church, we have a walking labyrinth. but these are supposed to be really good about helping you pray and calm and be peaceful. So I hope you enjoy. Hi kids, we are going to be making a finger labyrinth today in honor of Hannah's prayer. Um, and so this is pretty basic. It's made with pasta shells and on a piece of paper, but you get the idea. And I kind of drew my own because I didn't think that your fingers would fit in between the ones that I was pulling up. And um, let's get started and see what's in our blue bag. Oops. Lots and lots of shells and a template. So give me just a second, we'll get started. Okay, so hopefully you have some Elmer's glue at home. Um, I'm sure with all of y'all being in kindergarten, maybe you've got some around somewhere. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the glue and you're gonna make a good line. Now don't put too much on it. It is Elmer's so it'll dry clear or fairly clear on white paper. And then you're gonna get noodles out and start lining them up. Okay. Give me just a second and I will have this line done. Okay. So I've got all the noodles on that side. So now I'm gonna go down this one. You wanna put a little bit of glue out and then put your noodles out and then put a little bit of glue out and put the noodles out. Okay. So these, if you kinda line them up, the points to each other, that. Seems like it did better for me. Okay, give me just a couple of minutes. We'll have some more glue out and we'll do some more shells. Okay, so now we've started over here and gone all the way around. And we're gonna just keep on going. We're making a trail for your finger to be able to go through to help you pray. So when you're doing this, if you notice that you're not gonna have enough space you might want to bring your noodles in just a little bit because the stuff that's already there, it'll dry. But you want to make sure that your finger can go in between it because that's kind of the point of it, to have a little trail for your finger to go in. Okay. 
Okay, so this we've gotten our finger to go through. So we want to make sure that this line kind of comes over a little bit. It's not right exactly on that line. Just kind of have to play with it as you go along to make sure that it's going to work. Okay, give me just a minute and we'll have some more on here. Okay, so I went inside of the line again, if you can tell that, because it wasn't quite wide enough. And the, the whole point is that that way I can have my a trail for my finger to be able to follow. That gets your brain wrapped around praying and And then after you get all these on there, they're not going to dry instantly. So you just want to leave them, kind of put it somewhere where it's not going to hurt if it sits there for a little bit. We are almost there. Okay, there we go. So my finger will go all the way. And if my finger will, I know yours will because I've got big fingers. There we go. So this is after it's dried. This is after it's dried. And I hope that this will bring you peace and uh, an easier way to be able to pray. Peace be with you.